Hi, and welcome to another video by the Peppy Techie. Today we're going to do a comparison iMovie versus LumaFusion, the new comprehensive multi track iPad video editor. And I can tell you this is an amazing piece of software on your iPad. It really is, in my opinion, something that is very similar to Final Cut on the iPad. You have six multi-tracks, three that are audio mix only. You can do narration, you can put in music, and you can have multiple tracks on top of each other, picture in picture. You can resize, reposition, have all kinds of movement, do L and J cuts. You have ripple effect. There is so much in this package. It is amazing. It is the best $20 I have ever spent on my iPad. And I'd like to show you what it can do in the next few minutes. Remember, we'll be doing more video training on LumaFusion in the near future. Thanks for watching. My issues with iMovie are many. I'm going to basically open iMovie and show you how those problems affect me when I'm editing versus LumaFusion. So here's iMovie, and we'll talk about the things it has, but yet it doesn't have. So let's just go out and get, uh, first of all, we're going to get a photo. There it is. So I have about a six and a half second. I'm gonna to go to the beginning of the play. And now I will go to videos. And we're gonna click on the three little dots and say picture in picture. It's gonna fill it in. Uh, it ends about right there. It's actually not eight minutes long. Uh, it should be pretty good. So when I click on this, I click on the little four dots or the four arrows in the corner. I move it, I pinch to bring it in. Now the first thing you have to make sure you do is go to your actual photo backdrop, turn off Ken Burns, that's just a default. One of those things I don't like to have to remember. Click this again, and I'm gonna move it right up here. So a little video, and he shoots at an imaginary something. Um, I'm gonna come here, and it's about where he ends. So if I click the picture in picture item, and bring it into about six seconds. Now you notice I can't see the video even though I'm editing it. Uh, one of those things that also I don't like. I can't actually see the picture in picture when I'm moving the backdrop. And if I want to add text to a video, uh, the titles, the text, the, these are the these are the items I get. I can add text and I can add it in these locations. That's it. I can't move it anywhere I want to. I can choose these. Those are very pretty. They pop up or focus do all these fun things. However, I'm limited to where I can put that text, and that is one of those things that I don't like. Another photo here, and this is an example of a portrait. So first thing I'm gonna do is undisable Ken Burns, and you'll notice again it's a portrait, and I'm gonna move this video out of the way. If you'll notice, I can't, if I click on it, and again try to move it, because there's black and it's, I can either decide what part of the picture I want to see in my movie, but that's about it. So any pictures you take in portrait mode, you really can't use them in iMovie. So let's go on and take a look at LumaFusion and see the differences. When you start LumaFusion, you have a few things that it'll pop up, uh, and I'm just going to come here. You have all your movies down below, and in the bottom right, you have a plus sign, which is a new project, different than iMovie in that you can set frame rates. You can uh, do the frame aspect and of course uh, name your project right there. Next to it is a door and it allows you to import projects. So if you had a video you wanted to import, you could do it uh, right here if you were saving your uh, uh, few uh, LumaFusions to your external drives or something. But what we're gonna do quickly is get into a project we're working on. We'll grab the pictures and pictures and drop it down in there. So it goes into the to the bottom track. You have a track here, as you can see, one, two, and three tracks. You'll see the three blue on the left, and you see the three green on the on the left below that. Those are the audio tracks that you can add three and three. So you have six multi tracks here. Go back to the playhead, and now I'm going to get my pick my my movie and put it on the top track. And if you notice on the right hand, you have clip. Edit, Presets, Unlink and Link, Clone, Slip, and Info. I'm going to click Edit. You could also just double click on the actual video. I'm going to go back to this one, double click, and say, or, or say Edit. 
and you can click picture in picture if you want to it's just it makes it very quick but you don't even have to use those you could have just sized it yourself I can also use these positioners to the left and right to make it bigger or smaller and I like using the sliders because it makes it a little bit easier for me uh, I can move it up and down I can move it left and right so now there's my video and again I'm shooting at nothing hmm how can we change that one of the best things about LumaFusion versus iMovie is keyframing which makes it like a professional editing program on your iPad so we have the video and we have our backdrop and now we're going to bring in a third track video track or picture track and we're going to add some keyframing okay so this is a, a picture that actually has no background and we're going to add that one in on the top here and of course I need to make it longer to go almost the entire length of the video and now we're going to double click on it or again we can click the edit in the menu which is what I like to do and I'm going to move it make it smaller and I'm not going to go into this too much but the point that I'm going to show you is that I can keyframe so I'm going to go to the very beginning and I'm going to actually put the picture of the logo off screen down here where it says frame and fit this is really keyframing and you'll see where it says size and position and there's some pluses so in the very beginning I'm going to add my first keyframe you should always add one right in the beginning and I'm going to run the video okay and now when this guy shows up I need to let me go back to the beginning I, I rolled it a little far so if I use this these little lines here that are above the arrows I can actually move the video through and that right there is where I now want to bring the logo in and right as I do that if you'll notice by size and position when I moved it in it actually created a keyframe without me having to do anything you can see right here where the number 15 is or 0.15 there's a new keyframe so now as I roll through I'm going to move this just to where because I want it to move so I want to see him get to position and he's going to shoot me right there so now I'm going to move the logo right here and again it makes a keyframe at 4.17 and now as soon as he shoots it of course it should disappear it can't just stay there so we're going to hit the back arrow once it'll take you right to that keyframe and I'm going to have to roll it back a little further because even though I get here and he shoots it I probably should have gotten in position a little sooner so let's move this and create a keyframe by pushing that plus and notice that it's still there but what I can do now because I've got that in position I want to have it disappear so I'm going to roll back to right here and at this point I'm going to tell go to the size on the right and left and I'm going to move it to nothing and it creates you'll notice at 423 a new keyframe so we'll go all the way back just a little bit he shoots it and disappears perfect let's go back to the movie and you can see how keyframing works it's really just moving something into position so it comes in here comes the logo boom he shoots it and it disappears cool that's keyframing something iMovie cannot do LumaFusion is a comprehensive multi-track video editor for the iPad and even the iPhone. Most important features is frame and fit key framing, which is easy to use, resizing and repositioning of your videos and photos. The winner clearly is LumaFusion. I hope you'll like this video and hope you'll subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.